Hey guys, how you doing? My name is TJ and in this video, I'm going to be talking about the five steps that you can take to teach yourself how to code and become a software engineer. A lot of you have been watching my video of how I took myself from making about $37,000 a year to making six figures by teaching myself how to code and becoming a software engineer. So in this video, I'm going to break down the steps that I took into about five high level steps to help you in your coding journey as well. Also, make sure that you check the description box below. I'm going to share a lot of the resources that I reference in this video in there. So check that for coding tutorials and etc. Now, before we start, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and also comment down below any questions that you might have as the video is going on. OK, I do my best to reply to every single comment. So any questions you have, don't hesitate to post them down below. So let's get to it. If you want to teach yourself how to code and become a software engineer, the first step that you have to take is to start by learning web development basics, which are HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Now, HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language, and HTML is the language that you use to define the structure and content of your web page. And by content, I mean all of the buttons, the text, the images, the links, all of that is created by using HTML. After that, you should learn CSS, and that stands for Cascading Style Sheets. CSS is the language that you use to style your HTML content. So let's say that you want your, want your HTML button to be red or blue or something, right? You would use CSS to target that HTML element and style it with the color and font changes that you want. So again, CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. It is the language that you use to style your HTML content and make it look the way that you want. And after learning that, you should now learn JavaScript. So JavaScript is the only programming language here. HTML and CSS are not programming languages. Uh, HTML is a markup language and CSS is a style sheet language. Now JavaScript, is the language that you use to make your web page interactive. And by interactive, I mean things like drop downs, pop ups, modals, all of those type of things are because of JavaScript. Just to help you guys to get started learning the basics of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, I'm going to post a quick tutorial in the description box below. So make sure to check that out for a quick five minute introduction to HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And I'm also going, going to post longer tutorials that I did to just give you a deeper dive into those different technologies. Now, step two, find a heavily project-based coding curriculum that's also job relevant. Now, two of the biggest mistakes that I see a lot of beginners making is that they are working through curriculums that are not heavily project-based to where as soon as they log out of, of those platforms, they don't really know what to do on their own. And that's a problem because you have to know how to code outside of those platforms that you are learning to code on. And the second problem that I see for a lot of beginners is they are spending a lot of time reading books and just watching videos without really coding along. And if you really want to learn how to code, you have to be writing code as soon as possible, as much as possible, and building as many projects as you can outside of whatever online platform you are learning to code from. So projects is very important to you actually measuring your own progress and seeing how well you are doing and coming along when it comes to your coding journey. So make sure that you find a heavily project-based coding curriculum that will force you to apply everything that you learn in whatever online tutorials that you're doing to now building real world websites and applications. To help you guys to get started there, I'm actually going to link to a sample coding curriculum that I use to teach my own students. So make sure that you check that in the description box below. Now, step three, find a software engineer that can serve as your tutor and mentor on your coding journey. Now, one of the biggest problems that I see with a lot of people that are teaching themselves how to code is that anytime that they get stuck or need help, they don't really have anyone to ask questions to. They don't have anyone that can kind of point them in the right direction and just kind of teach them what to focus on and what to ignore. 
And this now means that a lot of people end up wasting precious time and hours and sometimes even days and weeks studying material that's not really relevant to the job market or to anything that they're trying to do. So it is very important to have a software engineer that is actually in the field, that has actually done these things before, that can help mentor and tutor you on your coding journey so that whenever you get stuck, you have someone to talk to. And this is also important when it comes to practicing for interviews because this person can really help you to practice for technical interviews since they've been there and done that. Now, I don't really have much advice in terms of how to find a software engineer that's a mentor. That's why a lot of people end up attending coding boot camps because they don't really know anyone. But another alternative is my program where I teach people how to code and I serve as their tutor and mentor on their coding journey and really help them to prepare and learn the things that they need to learn while using a heavily project-based coding curriculum that forces them to build websites and applications on their own without the help of some online platform. So if you are interested in learning more about my coding and career prep program, go to rootstechnology.info and check the description box below for, for more information. Now, step four, build two to three solid projects for your coding portfolio. Now, these projects are not just basic websites. These are actual applications that incorporate a lot of the common technologies and tools that most companies are using nowadays. To help you guys there, I'm actually going to link below to a video that I did talking about the five technologies and tools to consider putting on your coding projects when it comes to your job search. So again, check the description down below for more information about that. Now, step five, study for technical interviews. Now, a really big issue that I see with a lot of people that are teaching themselves how to code is that they are so focused on just kind of learning how to code and just doing tutorials and building projects that they don't really take the time to make sure they fully understand the tools and technologies that they're learning. Because when it comes to the technical interview process, you have to be able to confidently and comfortably speak about those technologies and explain it to the hiring manager during the interview process. So if you don't know how to talk about your code, it doesn't really matter that you know how to code. Soft skills are very important for software engineers to have, so it is crucial that you study for your technical interviews by practicing talking out loud about your code and walking people through your code. Now, this would be easy if you have a software engineer that's a mentor, but if you don't, that's cool. A hack that you can do is to actually use one of your family members or one of your friends. Um, and it's actually better that these people don't know anything about code because then they are going to be asking you a lot of questions about the code. And it is your job and responsibility to be able to try to clearly communicate and explain what's happening in the code to a complete novice that has no clue what's going on. So if you don't know how to comfortably explain what you're doing in your code to a beginner or you know to someone that has no coding background, that means that you might need to spend some more time trying to fully understand what you're learning so that you can adequately communicate it to other people. Also, make sure that you Google common interview questions for whatever roles that you are applying for. Research the answers, write down the answers, and study those answers until you fully understand it. Again, don't just focus on memorizing stuff. Like, focus on understanding because that will actually come through in the interview process. So, that's it. You know, those are five high-level steps that you need to take to help you to teach yourself how to code and make the career switch to being a software engineer. It is going to take work. Like It is going to take a lot of time, commitment, and dedication from you to be able to achieve all of these things and to get a job as a software engineer. So hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Again, if you have any questions, comment below and I will do my best to get back to you. I respond to everybody in my comments. Um, I might not respond today, but I'll definitely get to you within the week. And I'll always do my best to help. So again, check the description box below for more information. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video.